Welcome to the Grandstand. Frank, Marvin, and Avery here to talk sports. All right, guys, uh, historic week that we saw. Uh, games canceled, teams making statements, players making statements based on issues that are happening around the country. Marv, your reaction to what we've seen this week? Well, I mean, sports will continue to be the biggest stage because it attracts so many uh, diverse eyes and ears and, and minds and all that good stuff. And um, it's just not the first time we've seen it, right? I mean, with sports and um, social justice um, in 1968, obviously the Olympics with John Carlos and Tommy Smith, the iconic fist salute from the medal podium to Colin Kaepernick and the NFL and, and recently up to date now with what we have um, with the walkout. I just think that it creates and continues um, conversations that we have to have as a society to deal with the issues of racial injustice. Whether, you know, your son comes in and says, Daddy, why isn't the game on? Um, and you have to have that conversation. I think that's what it's doing. Avery, you're a lot younger than me. You are also younger than Marv. Let's get your perspective on what we're seeing. Um, I think social justice is something that is always going to be akin to people who are on the younger side of things. Um, but I think this is a, a great move by the athletes, quite honestly, because um, if they have a, a, a message that they collectively feel like is not being heard, then the best thing for them to do is take the very thing that they use to make that money um, to, to attract eyes and use that as a means to give their message out. So from an athlete's perspective, I think this is the best thing they can do to make sure that their voices are heard. Marv, why are we seeing this more now? Because, you know, in the past, athletes were criticized. Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods years ago were criticized for not speaking out. Why are athletes more willing to do it now, Marv? I just think African-American communities are, are putting on pressure for change. I mean, celebrities and athletes now hear that, and they're responding with their platforms to do so. I remember being an athlete and, and being told all the time, being an athlete is a privilege. Well, I think with a privilege comes a lot of responsibilities. And so I think that's what they're doing right now. They're just, you know, responding to the people – that have helped put them in place um, to be successful. Avery, some will say these athletes are taking a big risk by doing this. Do you think it's a risk worth taking? Absolutely. I think anything that's, that's worthwhile to, to your heart um, is, is a risk worth taking. And I think the thing about these athletes is, you know, if Marvin or Frank and I, uh, me or any of us take a day off uh, to protest, you know, most people will think we just had a vacation or took a day off for these athletes to, to take a risk in, you know, offering up potential million dollar salaries, um, they have the opportunity to make a change. And I think that's the best thing that they could do um, with the platform that they have. Marv Avery, good conversation. Thanks very much. We'll get together again and talk sports soon.